deep progressive house music is full of really beautiful and lush sounding strings and pads, atmospheres, textural sounds that really help to elevate the melodic structure and feeling of the track. You definitely heard this in music by artists like Alex Orion, GMJ, Matter, Guy J, myself. And to be honest, some of these sounds are hard to make in a digital realm using synths and in the box instruments can sometimes be a little bit too electronic sounding which is why I'm going to show you something that you can use that I've been using recently to create a lot of my really beautiful sounding lush pads, strings, and atmospheres that are great for this style of music. This synth makes them so easily attainable that you can basically just drop them right into your track with almost no tweaking needed. What I'm talking about is an instrument called Cube. It's a vector synth that crossfades and blends multiple samples together to create some amazing sounds. For what I'm showing you in the video, you will be able to use other instruments to kind of replicate this, but I'm going to dive into Cube to show you how powerful it is and how it works so well for this style of deep progressive house. It can work for a lot of other genres, of course, but it just creates such beautiful atmospheric sounds that work so well in this genre and style of music. So you've heard some presets, let's actually look at why these sound so good in the synth. So Cube actually uses vector synthesis, meaning it crossfades or blends in between multiple sounds. We can use up to eight different sounds inside of Cube. The sounds that are being used inside of Cube are typically atonal loops or one shots or textural sounds. Basically, a lot of them sound very rich and full and realistic organic and like real life instruments and that's why blending them together can make such full rich sounding pads that we can use as these really large atmospheric sounds in our music. What's really cool about Cube is it has this orbit feature which modulates movement in between the eight points of sound that you have. This is what changes the different pathways of the blending and crossfading of the sounds. So you can see that this blob follows this path and it orbits around and which is really cool because it actually blends in between the different lit up areas in the Cube. Speed it up. So whatever sound you have in these different points, it will orbit around and move around the three-dimensional object and create these different blends of sounds. And you can choose a bunch of different ones here, which is really neat. You can change the rotation, the intensity, or you can create your own. So I can click create new orbit, add a step, add a step, add a step, maybe make this jump from here to here and add one more step and we'll go up to the corner there. Let's hear how that sounds. It's pretty cool. You hear that lot of movement, but it's very subtle and it's consistent. And that's what's going to create these sounds that are really organic and really lush sounding with the movement makes them super interesting, but they're not taking away. They're not distracting. They're blending very nicely into each other. And that's why these sounds are so great for this style. I'll go into the sounds here and we can actually change these sounds to ones that we like ourselves. So let's just say this one's empty. I'm going to click to power that on. I'll solo it and I will choose my own sound by choosing in the different sound browser inside Cube. Maybe I want something that is more lush. I can find a texture that's lush. Let's try this one out here and we'll see how it sounds. Pretty cool, but a little bit tonal. Let's try Zen Waves. Sounds pretty good, but I find that it's a little bit too bright so I can actually go back into the overview and I can open this one up in the editor and I can actually add in my own filtering. So I can go here to the low pass, filter some of that out and that sounds much better now. I can adjust the volume, my own ADSR, maybe I wanna add a little bit of attack and a little bit of release. Go back to the overview and let's try that in the context of the whole sound now. This allows for so much creative design. You can layer so many different combination of layers and get so many different types of atmospheric sounds by using the samples that you have here. And this isn't even including the sample packs that you can also download.
I'm happy with the sound. I want to turn this into a nice drone, stringy type pad in the background of my track. So I'm going to play just a single note and I'm going to record that in the MIDI into my track here. Record, and I'm going to hit one note. My key is in C. So I'm just going to hit the C note. That sounds pretty good, but I think it's just a little bit too bright. So, and I want to just filter out a little bit of that high end. I can go into the main here and pull down that filter. That sounds better. So that sounds really nice as a drone in the background of my track. That's going to be the layer one of the synths that I want to add, and there's going to be two more that I'm going to add to this track. Let's move on to the orbit section of the VST. So I can enable or disable orbit. There's intensity of how much you're moving it, some offset. Rotation is actually really cool. It rotates inside these three dimensions. I can choose different orbits here. really cool let's go another sound here let's just choose something random really cool sound so i'm going to create my own orbit so let's click this and i can just move this out of step move this out of step and keep going like this and one more time let's move this uh back up here and let's hear how this sounds uh, let's go into here So it's pretty neat. You can hear it jumping from the more plucky sounds to the more patty sounds down here. So it's really neat that we can make our own orbits and create so many different variations of a sound. Going back into the main, I also have this ether knob. Basically makes things sound more lush and full. Some filtering. Macro. Modulation tools here, the LFOs that you can place wherever you'd like. Let's say LFO2, we want to throw on the filter, or LFO4, we want to throw on the ether. We can control that here in the modulation, and then some effects like our filter, EQ, distortion, etc. Let's add a second sound to this track, something that's more string oriented and it's going to feel very melodic. But for this, I don't want to use my factory sounds. I want to use one of the presets from a different pack that I can download. So I'm actually going to click here into the pack portal. It's going to ask me to sign in. By clicking on the pack portal, you can access your downloadable packs that you can put into Cube. Here I have two new ones, Canopies by Ben Jordan and Dust by Venus Theory. Let's make a drone pad for this song. So going into my MIDI here, I just have a note on C. My track is in C, and it's just going to play along and create this long droning sound, which helps to glue the track together. A little bit bright, so I'm gonna filter out a little bit. See so how much value it's adding to that track. It's just giving that nice pitch of tone and gluing the track together. I'm going to use a second sound now to really add this beautiful lush atmosphere to this track. I wonder how many times I'm going to say beautiful in this video. It's a lot. Going into the sounds, I'm actually going to open up one of the new preset packs that I downloaded. So let's click on canopies first. We have unearthed wood and metals. So now inside the canopies pack, I'm going to choose one of these presets that I haven't heard yet. I want to look for a pad type sound. So I'm going to click up here on pad. I will leave these maybe vocal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds wild. So much movement, so much going on. It's so beautiful sounding. I said it again. Can't help it. So I'm going to throw this in as another layer in the track. Record again over here, but this time I'm going to play chords. I 
like those chords together, so I'm just going to duplicate this over a bunch of times. So now I have two instruments. I have the first cube playing this nice drone pad, the second one playing this these nice chords with these sparkly kind of fluttery sounds. So I'm going to add a third and final sound. And this one's just going to be one of those big, long atmospheric sounds that's just going to come in once throughout the track or throughout this loop rather. So I'm going to duplicate cube one more time and I'm going to grab from a different sample pack. This is another sample pack by Venus Theory. Great producer, great sound designer. So I'm sure I'll find some really awesome stuff in that pack as well. Really, really long on here. Have a really full, lush sound. Let's go like 20 or 30 milliseconds. So now I'm going to just record one more time this big final sound. So we got a bit carried away there, played a couple notes. Typically you'll just have one of these notes and I really liked the way that this one sounded here. This last note. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that in just like that. Maybe turn it up a little bit and we'll listen just to there. That sounds really, really nice. So I am loving this new instrument. There's basically no way to go wrong by grabbing these amazing sounds, dropping them in and playing some different notes to create beautiful, lush, full sounding pads. Again, I'm going to say it. Put a link down in the description for Lunacy Audio's website in case you want to grab Cube or Cube Mini to create your own soundscapes like in this video.